the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down.
that we might know that you are God. Love is everlasting and everlasting. Your mercy is good to through all generations. What must be done? Our work is done. You are He. Until He lives up. You are He. You restore us. Our God protect us. Come into this place. Give us your strength. Grant us your peace.
I'd like to take a, a moment and say good morning to everyone. This is still the day that God has made. He is still God. He is still at all comfort. And he's all joy. He is not unwashed to this moment or this season. So we're going to lean on him. We're going to trust in him. And we're going to glorify him. I am Pastor Walker of the Anointed Warrior Hill. Serve as Sister Brown's pastor. And she's looking good on this cover, y'all. Looking really good. The family has outlined an order of service that we will follow uh, as printed with any changes that the family might uh, deem necessary we will then uh, make those changes but as of now we will follow uh, the order of service as they printed on the front loving memory sunday february 14th 2021 oak valley cemetery Tallahassee, alabama as i said i'm pastor walker officiating this is the home going service sister deborah brown 1953 to 2021 forever in our hearts. So at this time, we will, if you know where you are in the program, just come up and we'll proceed as the family has instructed. That I feel deep inside And it keeps setting my soul on fire Whatever it be 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 and be Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We still serve a great big God, and He's still worthy to be praised. And I know Deborah is smiling. Amen. Deborah is smiling because the things of this life, as she knew it and as we know it, they're done for her. And I just thank the Lord that trouble don't last always. Amen. Trouble don't last always. I'll be reading from Isaiah chapter 26, starting at verse 1. In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God makes salvation. Its walls and ramparts open the gates that the righteous nation may enter the nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever for the Lord, the Lord is the rock eternal. I've read in your hearing Isaiah 26, 1 through 4 and I admonish the family on the days of head to trust in the Lord. He will keep him in perfect peace whose mind has stayed on him. Amen. Amen. I will be reading 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 50 through 58. Now this is say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall all not sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. But when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal 
mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that you labor is not in vain in the Lord. May God have blessed to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. Is she here for the prayer? Okay, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now, God, for our sister's life, God. We thank you for Mimi's very life, oh God. We thank you now, God, for all that she has been unto all of us, oh God. Father, I pray your hands of strength be upon the family, oh God. Father, hold them together like never before, oh God. Father, we're standing right now declaring, God, unity like never before, oh God. Now, Father, we thank you now for love carrying them through the season, God. For love, God, being the seat, Lord God, that they will sit on from this day forward, God. You hold them to the horns of the altar on today God let them cry God let them believe whatever they need to do God but father we thank you God that from this moment forth God life still turns oh God for the rest of us God now father you do it Lord like only you can oh God and father we thank you for peace of mind God we thank you for peace of hearts God now God let them rule reign in the presence of you oh God God there's no other me me on this earth oh God but father we thank you God for the years that you gave us oh God now father you be the glue God that no one can tear apart. Now, Father, we thank you for it, and we count it done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm going to sing what I can, y'all. Amen. Amen. I didn't know Mimi's favorite, but I'm going to sing something for y'all. Amen. I'm going to sing something for y'all. She like old school church so I, I'm not going to try to do no new nothing but I'm going to sing this and I hope it touch everybody's heart amen my soul is anchored your soul got to be anchored in the Lord amen though the storms keep on raging in my life And sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Still that hope that lies within, it reassures. As I keep my eyes up on the distant shore I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared yes. and if the storms don't cease and if the wind Keep on blowing yeah. in my life. My soul mm. has been anchored yeah. yeah. in, in the Lord. Oh, I realize sometimes in this life. We're going to be tossed by the waves and the currents that seem so fierce. But in the word of God, I, I got an anchor, yeah. And it keeps me steadfast and unmovable. And just in case the winds keep blowing in my life, my soul, my soul been anchored in, in the Lord, in the Lord, in the Lord, my, 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 my. Oh, the billows may roll, 
because he holds me fast. So dark today, the clouds in the sky. I know it's alright, cause Jesus is not a soul. and the cure was not to be. The time had come for God to put his arms around her and whisper, come home to me. Mm -hmm. Although we loved her dearly, we could not make her stay. A golden heart stopped beating, her laughter silenced, and our final memories were made. But God broke our hearts to prove to us, he only takes the best. <laughs> now it's time for all of us to lay her down to rest. There's love in every tear we cry, and with tear for eyes, we now say goodbye. <laughs> Rest in peace, Mimi. I will always love you. Amen. Amen. At this time, we have any other reflections? We ask that you please limit it to two minutes. Two minutes. So at this time, if there are any other reflections, please. From the first day I met her, she said, my name is Deborah, but call me Mimi. And she has been Mimi ever since then. Mimi was full of love. Mm -hmm. She was good for a laugh. She could grab a chunk of skin and pinch like nobody else. Mm -hmm. And she made biscuits that turned people into thieves. <laughs> Mimi was love. Mimi showed love. And she was full of wisdom. I loved that about her. She was very inspiring, very uplifting. And she put you in her place if she had to. She didn't mind putting you in your place. To the family, I love y'all always. And I thank y'all for loving me. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. To the family, loved ones. I come to you on behalf of the Flat Rock Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, we all know, we all grew up with Deborah. Deborah was baptized in Flat Rock. She's, she was kind of like a big sister to me. She's four years, almost four years older than me. Three years and nine months, I think, something like that. But uh, just like the young lady just said, Deborah, Deborah never bit a tongue. She always, she, she had the look of a father, but the temperament of a mother. <laughs> so if she had something to say to you, she, she said it. She loved you. If she had to correct you, she, she corrected you. I've been there. I've been on the receiving end. <laughs> but we, we all loved her dearly. Uh, although she moved her membership, we never gave her up for whether y'all in any York knew it or not. <laughs> so, we we never really gave her up. So in on the behalf of Flat Rock <coughs> Church and community, she was well loved. We, none of us wanted to let her go, but God always knows best. Amen. So we will keep you covered in prayer constantly. Take care. Thank you.
Amen. We are excited to celebrate life for Sister Brown. We just, Mimi, we, we do. And I've been on the other end also of being corrected. <laughs> Amen. Uh, sometime in the sanctuary. Yeah. Sometime via text. Yeah. <laughs> But it was in love, and I, I thank God. It, it is it is good, beloved, when you meet genuine people. No matter where they are, Flat Rock, Pine Level, they are who they are, and that's a good thing. So we're gonna gonna go ahead with uh, the rest of this wonderful celebration, uh, brother Davis. Brother Davis is here. Amen. Come on, brother. Let all of God's children say amen. amen. I want to thank my family for allowing me to be a part of this celebration. Yeah. And I know what you asked me to do, because I'm going to twist it just a little bit different. I need thee, the oh, I need thee, every hour. I need thee, oh bless me now, my Savior, I, I come to, I come to thee, let the church say yeah, come on now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In times like this, we need the Lord. We need the Lord. Thank you. God bless you and stay strong. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is wise. He never makes a mistake. Amen. Nothing ever surprises him. It is God that gives life. It is God that takes life. It is God that breathes life. It is God that sustains life. It is God. Amen. And I'm so thankful that God loves us. Amen. So very much that he gave us enough years to know Mimi, enough years to, to feel her love and her correction, enough years, I didn't get a chance to taste those biscuits, but to taste the biscuits that'll make a person a thief, enough years, to the family and to the friends and everyone that's here to help celebrate this life, on behalf of the family, I want to just stop and say thank you so very much for your prayers for your words and all that you have done my bride is not here with me she is at home she sends her love to a family she's suffering with uh, shingles in her eye and in her ear which is can't touch what you guys are dealing with right now but she wanted to be here but I had to try to put my foot down <laughs> and ask her to stay at home. So she, she sends her love in her prayers. We're going to just talk for a little bit about something that I, I know was, was special to the heart of Mimi, to the heart of Sister Brown. And it's not gonna be long, but I think we need to hear it. Now I can't go back and erase anything that she has done. I am not God, I don't have a heaven to put her in. But what I can do for all of us is find words of encouragement through God's word that will help us as we journey through the rest of this life. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna talk today just, just for a little bit about love. Just love. That John 3.16, God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever you and I if we simply believe in him we would not perish but we would have everlasting life so loved and I begin to think about that I talked to sister Brown I mean sister Spencer uh, last week and she was talking about the love that that, that maybe sister Brown had the passion she had and I got an opportunity to talk to her a few times uh, about her and her husband, you know, the love that they shared and the, the obstacles that they had, like many of us in our relationships, we have obstacles from time to time that we have to overcome. But the one true thing that was always constant was the love. That so love. See, so love is a love that makes you endure. Come on. A, a, a so a love is a love that when, 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 you, when you're dealing with people, you deal with them to build them up, not to tear them down. A, a so love. A, a soul love is a, is, a, is a giving love, it's a sacrificial love. And we find that in that John 3.16 where God said, I love you so much, I'm going to give you something most precious to me. See, a soul love is a love that makes you give up something that is precious to you. You know, it makes you give up your heart, it makes you vulnerable, it, it puts you out there. It, 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 you, if you are going to so love and not so lust, you're going to put yourself out there. But many of us go through life so lusting. That's, that's, I'm going to like you for I like you for what you can do for me. And I'm not going to like you if you can't do for me. I'm just going to lust for you so I can get what I want from you. But yeah. when times get hard, I'm going to leave you because I don't love you. I just lust you. Mimi loved. She had a soul love. She, she, she had, she had a, a love of forgiving. She had a, a love of sacrifice. She, she had a love that, that could, she could put you in your place and make you feel loved. Yes. So love. God so loved you and I that he gave. See, so love makes you give. And we must all get to a place where we stop being so hungry for self, when we stop being so hungry for me, myself, and I, and we learn to care about someone more than I do myself. See, God cares more about you. Yeah. And it's that love, that soul love that will build you. It's, it's that soul love that's going to carry you through this moment. It's that soul love that's going to comfort you at night. It's that soul, soul love that's going to wipe away the tears. It's the soul love that's going to lift your head. It's that soul love that's going to make you keep on going when you want to stop. It's the soul love of God that's going to hold you up. God so love. So love. Not just love like you and I, but so love. And he's encouraging you and I today to have that soul love. He's encouraging you and I to learn to forgive. He's encouraging you and I today to live our life so that when he calls us home, people will come and share love. So love. I could try to hoop. I can't hoop, but I could try to hoop, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't do anything. She has lived her life. She is stunned, still before the Father. He has given her her mansion. Yes. He has told her, come in, you worker. You, you, he has said, you well done, you good and faithful servant. He's told her that. Yes. But you and I got to get there. Yes. And we live in a culture now where we are void of love. Amen. Now, sadly, we're almost done. Sadly, many of us, not many, most of us, not most, some of us going to have an argument before we even get back home. Some of us came here mad. Some of us came here upset with our spouse or our boyfriend, our girlfriend. Some of us came upset and ourselves and all of that. But I'm trying to tell you, I'm telling myself today that there is a love inside of God that he has sent Jesus to die for you so that you might have life and have it everlasting. So that you might have joy, peace and strength in this moment and in this season that you would be lifted up in this moment, that you could lift your head in this moment, that you would know that it is, oh my God, that it is God that's going to get you through. So with all of that. I think that took about, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> With all of that, there's a question that you and I must answer. Mm -hmm. 
do I want to be loved? Come on. That's the question that we have, to, have, we have to ask. Do I want to be loved? Not do I want to be abused by somebody. Do I, not do I want to be lusted after. Do I want to be loved? Do I want someone to love me so that they can build me? Someone that can give me life and give me eternal life. Do I want to be loved by someone that has given his only begotten son so that I might live? Do I want to be loved like that? Jesus. In all of my mistakes, in all of my mess, in all of my drama, in, in all of the stuff I've done wrong in my... Do I want to be loved by someone that can forgive me of my past and give me a future and a hope? Do I want to be loved? We, we all got to answer that. Now, there is one answer that you can give that would grant you that love. And then there is an answer that you can give that will grant you a castaway love. See, the answer to this is, yes, Lord, I want to be loved by you. And then you say, how do, I, how do I get that? He says, receive my only begotten son as your Lord and your Savior, and you will have my love eternal. And then there is a castaway love where God loves you so much, he will let you do what you want to do. But then you got to pay the price. That's that depart from me. You work of iniquity. I never knew you. That's that cast. I love you, but I just got to cast you away because you didn't want to love me back. Mm -hmm. Mimi understood that. You read it. She got baptized early. She, she, she worked in Flat Rock. She worked in the, at Warrior Hill. She had that. Do you have that? Do, do you have that love of the Father? Do you have that strength of the Father? Well, today you can. Today you can, you can receive his love. Today, today you, can, you can receive his strength, you can receive his joy, you can receive his peace. Today you can do that. Or, you cannot. The choice is yours. But the fact remains that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that you and I can trust in him and have everlasting life. Amen to that. Amen. Look, this is where I do it at here. Now y'all say amen to that. Amen. 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 This is what love is. Amen. We could have preached and told you about your sins and what you're doing wrong, but you know that. Every, everybody here know what you're doing wrong. So we don't have to remind you what you're doing wrong because you know what you're doing wrong. But what God wanted us to know today was this, simply this. He loves you, and he will strengthen you, and he will help you through. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Father, we thank you for the life of Mimi, Sister Brian. We thank you for the love that she shared with each one of us. We thank you for the example of love that she gave us, Lord God. We thank you for, for the love that you share with us, proving it by giving your only begotten son, so that we can believe in him and have eternal life. We thank you, Lord God for the suffering of his body, the, the, the stripes, the, the whips that he took, that gives us healing, Lord God. We thank you for being our, our, our rock. We just thank you for being our rock. Father, we have no idea what the next couple of days, months, years are going to bring. We just don't know. We don't even know, Lord God, how quick we will begin to heal. But we do know this, that you love us and you will be there with us. So continue to be our God. Continue to hold us as your children. Continue to be our shepherd. Continue to love us. We give you glory and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank God for the family allowing us, again, just an opportunity to speak just a few words. We pray that it has been lifting to you and encouraging to you. It is uh, now a part of what, what we believe as Christians that the body is going to go back to where God took the body from. 
and and before we do this guys listen even for, for the children of God death is a sign of love it is, it is the father calling home his children even death is a sign of love so we thank God for that so we're going to now uh, do here the committal of uh, her body uh, we gather here to claim memories which are forever sacred as they are a gift of God. We are supported by faith stronger than death, sustained by the hope of a life that extends eternally beyond this place. And within that confidence, we gather here to commit all that is mortal of our beloved sister to this resting place, surrounded by the handiwork of God in nature, yet aware that we have a resting place not made by hands, but by God eternal. For as much as it please Almighty God to take unto himself the soul of our beloved sister, we offer her body to this place that has been prepared for it, ashes to ashes, earth to earth, dust to dust, and the perishable spirit may forever be with the Lord. Let's pray again. Father, we thank you for just life. We thank you for memories. We thank you for, oh God, we thank you for memories. We thank you for having already uh, ordained our future and ordained our destiny. We pray, Lord God, that you will continue to strengthen our hearts as we go through uh, the remainder of our life. Keep fond memories of Mimi in our hearts and keep her fresh in our mind, Lord God. And then, Lord God, as we go through our days, we pray that you will continue to strengthen us that you would continue to lift us up, that you would continue to comfort us. For you are our God and our God alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Family members, on behalf of the entire staff of McKenzie's Funeral Home, I would like to thank you for this opportunity to serve you during your time of bereavement. And today, as a final tribute to Ms. Brown, we would please turn your attention to your right and in front. It's written in Psalms 55-6 that, oh, if I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest. Yeah. So today, in the spirit of Miss Deborah Mimi Brown, we release the doves. Amen. This is going to conclude the services here with Ms. Brown. We're going to ask that we have at least six gentlemen to please come forward that would like to assist us as pallbearers. And since we've done the committal service here already, uh, we don't necessarily have to go to the grave site. You're welcome to follow us over there, but we don't really have to go there unless you just want to. Thank you. When you've done all you can and it seems like it's never enough And what do you say when your friends turn away and you're all